everyone. I'm sorry I look really terrible today, but I've just like have a, I've had a nap and I woke up and I'm like feeling really bad. I just had an exam and it was horrible and I'd probably fail. But on the bright side, I have some Vivian Russell shoes to show you. Um, I've wanted these ones for ages and I couldn't really justify the price. And then they've, they've gone in the sale, so I bought them. And yeah, they're um, the Melissa Lady Dragon Globes, I think they're called. And they come in a box like... <sighs> Anglomania and Melissa and there's some care instructions on the back and um, made in Brazil and they're called the Vivian Russell Anglomania and Melissa Lady Dragon Amethyst Globe and they also do the, these shoes in a black and navy colour but um, these ones are a little bit more bold so I went for these um, they also come in like a dust bag which is a just like this and this is 100% raw cotton because the Vivian Russell is like, I don't know if you can see again, like Vivian Russell was really into her environmental um, stuff and so she always, you know, she's really into using recycled materials and things like that and it also comes in like, with like Melissa paper but like, I don't know if you can see, can't see it, it's just like Melissa all over the paper. And this is what they look like. Because <laughs> I can see like the reflection. <laughs> see like me reflected on my computer screen. On my Casablanca poster. <laughs> um, so they're jelly shoes and um, the most popular style of these are the Lady Dragon heart shoes that a lot of people have been wearing but I thought these ones were a little bit more bold. I would eventually like to get some um, of the heart shoes but you know for now these ones are really, really good. This video is going terribly as always. Okay so on the insole so it's with you and with Angelina and Melissa and as you can see the globe is there, there, <laughs> and it's cut off and I say this because there's a lot of fakes going around especially of um, not so much these ones but the Lady Dragon Heart shoes are quite often faked and the fakes have a like full globe and um, like it's not cut off they just have like a full globe on the shoes and like the insoles are really they're like really quality material they're like um like shiny fabric like really it's really good quality they're a little bit padded so they're not like really uncomfortable or anything and then on the side you have four little adjustable hole strap holes and you have two of these so you can adjust them i usually put them on like those ones or on the end ones um just to hold them in place a little bit more and as you can see there's this massive globe on like the toe of both the shoes really it's really kind of bold and a bit weird and I just really like the fact that they're a bit weird um, I've really been liking the um like this current seasons um, fashion from Vivian Westwood I love the snail bracelet but it is sold out at the minute and I would love to eventually maybe buy it <laughs> because it's a little bit grotesque a little bit weird it's like a real snail shell and then metal like a metal snail that looks really realistic and um, so like if you wore it there like there's like a snail like creeping along your wrist and also her bags this season have been gorgeous these shoes are um currently being sold in a lot of retailers and um, Vivian Westwood retailers um on sale they're usually I think 120 or 130 pounds but I've seen these on sale for it for from 65 pounds to 50 pounds and I got them for 50 pounds so you can still buy these in this colour or in like a black colour, like black sparkly colour with a navy globe. 
is this one is kind of a purple sparkly, as you can see it's like super sparkly, hopefully you can see. And the globe is kind of like a really dark purple, it's hard to see on the camera I know, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, the heel is 10 centimetres, I think, and that's quite, I'm not really a heel person, it's quite hard for um, me to wear heels. And I have been trying to break these in, but I think I need to kind of wear them around the house a few more days before I can um, go out in them. I probably wouldn't wear these like out in the rain or anything because I don't want like the soles to get really battered because these are like the most expensive shoes I've ever bought. And if I got the, um, I would love to buy some like second hand of the Lady Dragon hearts just so I can have something that I can like go out in that's not too expensive. But I'm, um, I've got my hearts set on man the mango and red colour and I've not seen any go on eBay so I'll probably have to wait to buy those. But these ones are just gorgeous. Um, I'm just going to address the issue of fit because before I bought these I looked upon like what people were saying about the this kind of line of shoes and a lot of people were saying that the um, fit of them um, ranged from like some people were saying that they were too big for them like they got them in a regular size and they were too big for them and some people said that they were too small for them um for me these these are a six and I'm usually a six and sometimes sixes are like a little bit too big for me but these ones are a little tiny bit too small for me actually um, but I don't think that I could actually wear the 7s I think they'd be too big so if you find like a half size I'd say go up or else kind of like if you can try and try them on before you buy them like I, I couldn't try these ones on but I tried on another pair of Melissa's like um, from a, a retailer where I live um, Cruise Fashions um, I tried on the ones with the lips on that I didn't really like but um, just to see the fit and they were actually like they're probably about the same as these but I thought like at the time oh these will be a fine size and they are a little bit cramped in the toe but because they're like jelly shoes I'm hoping they'll kind of mould to my like feet shape <laughs> like if that makes sense um, so yeah I could try and show you these but a little bit weird <laughs> I'll try. I've got like socks on. I'd probably wear not wear these barefoot because they are a little bit like see through. I'd probably wear them uh, with tights, but at the minute I'm just wearing socks. This is going to be really weird for anyone looking out the window, but like that's what they look like. Excuse my ugly socks. <laughs> so weird. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, I would recommend if someone wants to buy some Vivian Westwood Melissa's to buy them um, while they're still in the sale. There have been some other styles of these in the past and there's been some pink and green ones which I would have loved but they're sold out everywhere and unless I could have, you know, waited with the off chance that would be that, you know, someone would sell them on eBay, then you know, the, I probably could have got hold of them. And they probably would have sold out really fast anyway. Um, so, but I'm really happy with these. A lot of people have been talking about how these are centered, and they are centered. Like the thing is, I always thought the jelly shoes, like when you're a kid, were centered anyway. Like maybe it's just the smell of like the jellies always centered. But I mean, they are so weird. Come on, see the smell of my shoes. So. Weird. Like the man in the shop where I was trying on the um, ones with the hats on was like, after I tried them on, he was like smelling them like, oh, like this smells so good. And I'm just like, yeah, I just had my foot in there, like a bit weird. But yeah, like, they kind of smell just like a bit sweet, like a bit fruity. Just kind of like raspberry or something. And I did notice yesterday when I first purchased these, like I left them kind of in the box in my room. And when I came back in my room, I went to make a cup of tea or something. And I came back and I could like, and the whole room did smell of like this smell so they are quite like strongly scented but I'm sure that like after you've worn them a few times like the scent will probably like disappear so I wouldn't like buy these based on the fact that they just smell because I always thought the jelly smell like jelly shoes smell anyway and like it is nice that the scent it's a little bit like quirky I guess like if you have added extra scent into the jelly but I wouldn't necessarily like that wouldn't be my main reason for purchasing these um, so yeah, just one last look. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hopefully I will have some 
new perfume reviews to show you guys soon. Um, I have like a few new perfumes that I'd really love to do a, re a, re a review of, including Armani C, I've got the gift set for that that I'd like to show you guys, and La Dandy by Dorsey, Parfum, Parfum to Dorsey, I'd love to do that very soon. Um, maybe, maybe some other reviews, I don't know. Um, just keep in tune, I'm still in exam season at the minute and uh, it's going terribly and <laughs> I'll probably end up drinking myself to death after they're over in depression, but who knows. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.